now that the cool weather has gotten here, I wanted to try out this Handy Heater Pure Warmth Ceramic Space Heater. Now, a while back, I did a video showing the Arctic Air Pure Chill Personal Cooler. And let me tell you, the hate for this thing was immense. Not from everybody, but from a lot of people. And I really think that a lot of people expected a small personal cooler, which is essentially an evaporative cooler, to be able to replace an air conditioner. That simply is not possible. For many of the people that had more realistic expectations of the Arctic Air Pure Chill, they found that it worked as advertised. The same as I found. It's not going to cool off a room. And I think the same thing goes for the handy heater. I know on my commercial cleaning accounts that there are tons of people that have the small space heaters at their desks. Now, do they expect them to warm up a whole room? Of course not. But I think one of the real draws to these small heaters is the fact that they are small. So they're super portable and easy to bring wherever you need to bring them. Where I live, it doesn't get all that cold. And I run my central heat probably 10 to 15 times a year, that's all. But in addition to that, I use a rolling infrared heater. And I can bring it into the living room or into the bedroom or wherever I need it. And it does a pretty good job of keeping me warm wherever I am. So let's open up this handy heater, pure warmth ceramic space heater and check it out. Here's what the unit looks like out of the box. And it is approximately six inches wide, six inches deep, and about six and a half inches high. So it doesn't take up very much space. I also measured the cord and it's just a tad under six feet. Like many of their products, the top has a light on it they call a mood light. There's an on off and fan speed button and the mood light button. On the back, there's a built-in carry handle and a filter and filter cover. And the filter slides right into the cover. So it is replaceable, but I'm not really sure how difficult it might be to get a replacement filter for these. And on the bottom, it has an anti-tip switch. It does have color changing mood lights. And on the Arctic Air, I really didn't care all that much about it. On this, I like them a little bit better. And let me show you the different colors and I'll show you why I like these a little bit better than what was on the Arctic Air. And on the handy heater, you don't just get the mood light on the top. You can actually see it through the front grill grates of the heater. So before I get started, I want to show you the temperature in the house right now. It is 59 degrees and it's definitely cool. It's not cold. I mean, I don't need a jacket on or anything right now. I don't have anything running uh, as far as the heater. But I did want to use this thermometer just to check the progress of how quickly this thing heats up an area. And I think most people understand that these small space heaters are not going to heat up an entire home. I mentioned that in the previous video on the Arctic Air Pure Chill, but it seems that people just dismiss the fact that I even said the small unit is not going to be a replacement for an air conditioner. But I do think people understand that a little better when they're using a space heater just to heat their immediate area. All right, let's turn this thing on. And the anti-tip switch definitely works. Can't get it very far before it cuts off. I only lifted it up about half an inch, so that's good. It's immediately putting out heat. One thing to consider is just like the Arctic Air Pure Chill, these use a small computer fan to blow the air. So you're not gonna be talking about anything super powerful, but I am feeling a decent amount of warm air. So let's hit the fan speed button again. All right, so it started off on high. Here's medium. And here's low. And just in the few seconds that I've had this going, 
it's went up about five, six degrees. So let me kick it back up to high. I think it's putting out a very fair amount of heat for its size. One thing to also take into consideration though is this was $40 and so there are a lot of other options in the $40 price range for heaters and I think this one being so small is one of the main advantages. I'm going to place the thermometer about two feet away from the handy heater and I'm going to let it run for three minutes and see what the temperature rise is. Okay, it's been three minutes and let's check the thermometer. 85 degrees at about a two foot distance. Now I don't think that this is anything groundbreaking or anything like that, but I think as a small heater, it definitely works pretty good, especially being how small it is. And they're just made to heat the immediate area that you're in. I don't really think it's fair to test this heater at much more than about two feet, being that it's a very small heater designed to heat up your personal space not heat an entire room and I've had the thermometer here at about a foot away while I was talking and it is now up to 119 degrees so for being a really small heater I think it's doing a good job but also remember at this price point there are some larger heaters if you're looking for something a little bit bigger I wanted to give you a little update on the handy heater I originally shot the video about a week ago but with Christmas and everything I did not edit it or get it uploaded so with the cold temperatures that we've had lately which has been down in the 20s which is a little little cooler than what we normally get I've used the handy heater exclusively in my bedroom at night I put the central heat on 50 and I've been using the handy heater for about two to three hours per night and my bedroom is 12 by 14 so it's not huge but running the handy heater for two or three hours per night has really gotten the room to a very comfortable temperature earlier in the video I said I didn't think it would heat up a room very well well I was wrong it actually does heat up the room very well as a matter of fact I usually use one of the roll around infrared heaters and I have not put that in my bedroom at all this week this is the only heater I've used so it's a little bit easier to move around than my roll around heater and it can go almost anywhere and I think that most people who are looking for a small heater would probably like the amount of heat that this little heater puts out as far as noise being on high it's really not that loud in person remember that the camera picks up and magnifies the sound of a lot of things so it may come across on the video as louder than what it is but in person it's really not that loud so that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.